Most Americans are expected to spend close to $200 on Valentine's Day. Some of that spending may go towards the festive Mylar balloons. But as Brianna still found out, these balloons can cause some significant damage. Mylar balloons have become an increasingly popular gift for loved ones. But what happens when you accidentally let go of these shiny symbols of love? Mylar balloons have a metallic feature and what that does is it makes them conductive and so just like our, our power lines are conductive, these can uh, create a path between a phase and ground or phase to phase which causes a fault, which causes heat, fire, uh, and equipment failure and that can inevitably cause hazards to the public. Last year, Mylar balloons caused 60 outages affecting around 28,000 people in parts of Arizona. APS put on a demonstration today to prove how powerful these high voltage power lines are. 12,470 is what this line is. It could be all kinds of different uh, voltages and ranges depending on how high up or how low they go, but everything overhead and underground can be dangerous uh, when it's uh, introduced to foreign objects. For balloon safety, APS recommends to keep them indoors and if outside, make sure they are tied down. If you have a flyaway balloon and it hits that line, it can erupt just like this. Once the glow of the balloon fades, APS asks that you deflate and fold it up and discard in the trash so it doesn't blow away. In Phoenix, Brianna Steele, Cronkite News. Happy Valentine's Day and don't forget to hold on tight to your balloons and dispose of them properly.